Cheryl Page Cooking Diaries. Tonight, I got another recipe I think y'all will like. And um, tonight, what I'm going to make is some cracked chicken pinwheels. So anyway, give me just a minute and I'm going to show you everything that goes into this. Okay guys, here we go. Alrighty. The first thing is, uh, you are going to need uh, one 8 ounce pack of cream cheese and I have that right here. I just have um, I just have them cut in half. One's one brand, one's the Philadelphia cream cheese. I just had it that way in my refrigerator because I made something else with another half of it or whatever. But anyway, you are going to need one 8 ounce pack of that and you're going to want it um, softened. Okay. And uh, then what you're going to need is one and a half tablespoons of the ranch seasoning mix. And that's exactly what I use. Um, I've never tried to use the dressing in this. Um, I guess it's something that you could do, but I've never tried to use it in this actual recipe. And by the way, I've got another recipe I'm getting ready to um, post for y'all. And that one's called a cracked chicken roll up. So now in that one, I use the, um, the ranch dressing instead of the seasoning mix. So, all right. And then you're going to need one cup of shredded cheese. I don't have that out yet, but we'll get that. We'll get it out when we, when we need it. Um, you're going to need about one to two tablespoons of milk. I'll get that out when needed. Um, you are going to need about, uh, three fourths cup of chopped bacon. And I've already baked this bacon a little while ago. And then you're going to need one cup of boiled chicken. That's what I got in here, and I boiled this for about 25 minutes, something like that. Okay, and then we're going to chop this up a little finer because these are going in tortillas. Or tortillas, however you want to say it, guys. So that's what you're, you're also going to need four or five of the um, tortillas. And you can make as many of these as y'all want. So it's totally up to you. So anyway, that's all you need to go into this. So what I'm going to do is, oh, by the way, I'm going to put some green onion in this too. I'm sorry, guys, I about forgot it. And um, I'm going to be seasoning my chicken breast. Um, that way it just gives it a little flavor since I don't have a rotisserie uh, style chicken. I'm going to season my own. So, and you can do that. So, and I think it's still um, just as good. So, let me get everything prepared here, and what we're going to do first is we're going to chop this chicken up, like I said, a little bit finer, because you're going to need it, because it's going to go on one of these tortillas. So, just give me just a minute, and I'll be right back. Hey, okay, guys, first of all, I need to make a correction. Not three. You don't need three-fourths cup of bacon. You need a half cup. I am so sorry. I got that wrong. Lord, I don't know what it is with me lately with my bacon, but I got it wrong in my uh, cracked chicken roll-ups, too. You'll see what I'm talking about when I post it. <laughs> So anyway, it, it's not a big deal, but I just want to make sure I make that correction right now. It's a half a cup of bacon, guys. All right, so let's get started. So let's pour our chicken breast out on our uh, my cutting board. My hands are clean. All right, I'm going to cut this up, then we're going to season it. So when I boil my chicken breast, guys, what I do is, is I cut it in chunks, kind of bigger chunks, because it, I've, from experience, when I cut it up too small, it just kind of dissolves in the water almost in little pieces. So I don't do it that way. I just cut it up into chunks. But you can boil it whole if that's what you want to do. But keep in mind, it will take it longer. So, uh, but anyway, it's done. It looks good and meaty inside, and it's it's ready to go. All right, so let's get this chopped up. I'm going to get it uh, chopped down a little bit so it's not real chunky like it is right now. Uh, they do go in the refrigerator after we get them ready. They do go in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes because you got to let that softened cream cheese kind of um, get kind of hardened back up a little bit. And I know for a fact that is going to be more than a cup of chicken. But let's go ahead and transfer this back over into the bowl. These little pastry, pastry cutters really come in handy for stuff like this y'all if y'all ain't got one i'll tell you what you're to get one because they're they're nice i really like them especially for this kind of thing and i like them to cut dumplings if i'm making chicken and dumplings too so all right so i'm gonna start seasoning this and oh before i do this let's i'm gonna sprinkle this with just a little bit of water nothing big 
And the reason I do this, guys, is because uh, most of you could probably already know. Boiled chicken is really dry. So I like to sprinkle it with just a little bit of water so my seasonings will stick better. Okay, let's do some black pepper. And remember, as always, y'all, I probably sound like a broken record right now, by now, but seasonings are to your taste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this in. I don't like adding them all at once uh, because it just, to me, it doesn't coat things as well. So I'd rather add one at a time. We're going to add some white pepper. Now this pepper is milder than the black. But you don't want to add a whole lot of this, especially if you've already got black pepper in there. We're going to use some smoked paprika. You don't want a whole bunch. We're going to use some onion powder. Just one. And we're going to use some garlic powder. Now this will be the last seasoning I put in here. I use this ranch uh, seasoning mix, so I don't want to, you know, overload it with seasonings. Okay. What we're going to do is, now that we've got our chicken breast seasoned, we are going to put our cream cheese, our ranch seasoning mix, uh, our shredded cheese, and we're going to use one tablespoon of milk, and we're going to put our bacon, our half cup bacon, and we're going to put... Our, uh, which will already have our chicken in here. So that goes in with everything too. So we're going to mix all that together. And if it looks like we need to add more milk, guys, we'll do that. But let's see where we're at. And I'm also going to throw a few green onions in. I don't know if I'm going to use all these or not, but we'll see after we get everything in here. So I'm going to give you a little tip on this. Your chicken here, when you get done season it, seasoning your chicken, Make sure it's in a separate bowl. You want to add this last because if you don't, first off, let's get our cream cheese and let's put this in really, really soft. <laughs> there we go. Let's open this one. So we're just going to kind of pull it off the best we can. There we go. Now we're going to add our ranch seasoning mix and we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of it. There's one tablespoon. Let me make sure. Okay. One. There's the half a tablespoon. We need to put in our cheese. So now we need um, one cup of shredded cheese. Use guys. I just use the Great Value shredded mild cheddar cheese. Nothing special. Now in my cheese bags, I don't mind them to dip my cup in there, but you can do it however you want to. One cup. Of shredded cheese. We're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of milk. A tablespoon of milk. There's still a little ranch powder in there, but that's not going to hurt anything. So we're just going to go ahead and add um, it. Okay, there's that. Now, if we need more, we can put more in. We'll just have to see where it's at. All right, y'all, uh, now what we're going to need to do is put our bacon in here. So we're going to throw that in there. I'm going to add a few of the green onion, but I'm not going to add many of these guys. I'm just going to add a few. And lastly, we're going to add our chicken, but we need to get this cream together first. So let's go and let's kind of just mash your cream cheese down in there with everything, guys. So I got to do with this and just kind of get it all mixed in. I'm almost wondering if I should use my mixer to do this. And I'm thinking we probably will need some more milk. Let's see if I can get this mashed in. Yeah, that works a little better. Just it's, it's thick, guys, but you just got to Get all that smashed in together. But yeah, I'm going to get some more milk. Um, we're going to have to add another tablespoon. 
because this stuff is so thick it's sticking to everything okay one more tablespoon we'll try that oops i kind of went over guys but that's okay it might help out anyway thick like this y'all you have to add that and i'm sure it will but let's go back to the spoon a minute oh yeah that helped quite a bit but it's still thick and it's going to be i mean this is the way this stuff is because you don't want this thin putting it on a tortilla because if you do that, it's going to make the tortilla soggy. So you don't want this to be extremely uh, wet. We're going to have to add our chicken to this. <laughs> well, that ought to be interesting. And I think uh, next time, I may just use my mixer to help me mix this. I may do it now, guys, because this is really thick. I mix, guys. It's all mixed in together. Pretty good. But when the chicken goes in, um, it's going to be a little more challenging. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to get this mixer out. Because I think this is what's going to help me the most. Because this is thick, guys. I'm telling you, this is thick. Let me take my flex beater off. And I'll wipe this. Uh, I cleaned this bowl today. I just want to make sure there's no little water beads down in there or anything. Okay, so I'm going to take this mixture. <laughs> we're going to put it in my mixer. We're going to try it that way. And I think it'll work a lot better. It may stick to the bowl. But hey, that's okay. Because we can get that off and I'm going to use my flex beater here. And I'm going to leave this bowl sit over here to the side until we need it to transfer this back over. A cup of boiled chicken seasoned. So let's go ahead and put our flex speeder on. And let's lower this baby down in here and let's let this do the work because it's really thick. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm just going to start out on the stir, okay, and see what happens with that. It's so much better than sitting there trying to stir that in. My goodness. So, you know what? We're good, guys. Okay. Now, I know that... It's probably beat the chicken up a little bit more. But listen, that's off my flex beater. And I'm going to transfer this back into the bowl. And then we'll go ahead and start getting these on our uh, tortillas. Okay? So give me just a minute, y'all. Hold up. All right. My counters, I just washed them off. So they are very clean. And I'm going to put these over here in a baking dish I got when we get them rolled. Because we got to roll them, put them in a the refrigerator, wait 30 minutes, bring them out, and then cut them. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So, this is the kind of tortillas I use, but you can use any kind um, that you want. So, we'll see how many of these we can get with this. So, just take you a tortilla. Okay, lay it down. All right. Take your mixture. Take you right about a fourth of a cup. Okay. Now, level that off. Now, guys, I use my hands, but they're clean. All right. What I do is kind of tap it out of there, but I'm going to have to use something to spread it. So we're going to spread this all over our tortilla. Do the best you can with it. Don't have to be perfect. Just, just spread it out a little bit or just spread it out all over it. If you need a little more stuff, just get you a little more stuff. But I usually use um, a fourth of a cup. And if I need a little more here and there, I'll go ahead and, like now, I'll go ahead and get a little more. But you don't want these too thick because these are going to be cut. Okay? So just kind of make them as even as you can with your chicken mixture. Just like that. Okay? Then, what you're going to do is you're just going to take it on the sides over here. And we're going to roll this. Be gentle with this, though. But, you know, be firm and make sure that this rolls in. It will hold its shape. So, all we're going to do is we're just going to start rolling. Just kind of get it as tight as you can, but don't break it. Just kind of do this slow and just roll it on up. And that's all you got to do. See if it will hold its shape. That one seems to be pretty good. And there's a little bit of mixture here. It kind of acts like glue to kind of hold it down. So, I'm going to put this over here in my baking dish. 
But when I'm baking these guys, I'm just putting them in this to put them in the refrigerator, okay? That's all I'm doing with that. So let's get here we go. Um, we've got these rolled up now. and My husband actually did a couple of them down here. He wanted them a little bigger. And you know, let me show you one of his. <laughs> They're huge. I was very surprised that uh, it didn't come apart. But really, hey, that's how he likes them. Now, I like mine a little smaller, guys. That's just me. But uh, but anyway, when we go cut these, you know, like I said, we're going to cut this uh, bread or this dough off the end of this, and then we're going to start slicing them. Yeah, they're going to be small, but that's okay, because these is mainly kind of like an appetizer anyway, you guys. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. We're going to let them chill for 30 minutes, and then when they come out, we'll cut them, and then we'll be done. And then I'll do a little taste test, and that'll be it. So I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Bye. So I got them out of the refrigerator. They've been in there right about 30 minutes. And I did forget to mention to y'all, if you want to, you can put toothpicks right here where that fold um, lays over. So they'll stay closed. They, they pretty much stay closed on their own, but I just wanted to be sure. So if you want to do that, you can. Just a tip. All right, guys, let's get these out. My husband, the biggest one, he wanted it left whole. He likes it like that. So I said, here you go. And this one here. He wants me to leave it alone. He doesn't want me to cut this one either. He just likes them this way. No big deal. All right, guys, let's get these. Uh, cut up. I'll just show you here how I do this. What you want to do with these is the ends here, there's a lot of breading, if you can see that, on these tortillas. So what you want to do is take your knife. I got me some parchment paper laid out here. Take your knife and just slice them off. Um, even if you get a little bit of stuff on them, just slice them off because I don't like all that extra breading. And this is just what I do. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I do. And then just begin to um, just slice them. I don't know, uh, inch apart or, or however you want to do it. I mean, it don't have to be perfect. Just slice them up. I still think they could have been a little cooler. A little hard to do on parchment. But we're going to set them over here on this. And then I'll show y'all when I get them done here what they look like. I need to finish cutting this one. My knife needs to be sharpened, guys. I believe. Because it's not wanting to go through these very good. Y'all got the idea of, of how to do this. And it's a simple, easy recipe to make. But I will say this. When you go to mix that cream cheese and stuff, you're better off to use a mixer because that stuff's really tough to um, get through, as you've seen with me. It's it's so thick, and see where I need to cut here. It is so thick, and it's just it's hard to get through. So your best bet is to use a mixer if you have one. If you don't, you may even be able to go over and use the whipped. Uh, uh, cream cheese, and you know, I had some of that in there, you guys, and I never even thought nothing about it, but I'm thinking the whip might even be better in this, y'all, so, or try a little bit of the um, ranch uh, dressing next time, I think that might even be better, really, guys, because this stuff's so thick, it's hard to stir, so, you know, putting something in it a little wetter may actually help it. Especially if you don't have a mixer. But I don't mind to pull my mixer out and use it. That's what I got it for. And I'm going to go sit down with my husband. And uh, we're going to enjoy our evening together. Because I'll tell y'all. There is our uh, pinwheels. And check them out. Pretty cool, huh? Enjoyed the time with y'all today. So, I will let y'all go. And you always remember to keep God in your heart and God in your life. Bye.